people and now really honing in on sort of a, a younger audience, I guess. Yes. Um, you know, I, I read, Sergio, that actually when you were a kid that, that you had a copy of Cook's classic picture Bible. Yep. I, was, I was hoping maybe you'd share a little bit about your experience reading that as a child and, and maybe how that would impact um, how you do your work today. Well, um, I started drawing since I was three years old, you know, so it, it, it took me just uh, five years of my life to, to determine that I wanted to be a cartoonist oh, when wow. I grew up. So at, at five, <laughs> I already knew because of so many comics and uh, movies and TV with the cartoons and uh, that I really enjoyed comics. And among those comics, we had, I was born in Brazil, so the picture Bible was done in five booklets uh, digested in black and white and I loved it and part of my um, there, there was there was uh, in the 70s and uh, that, that I saw those uh, picture Bible in Portuguese and those attached uh, to my dream of becoming a cartoonist that I thought it would be cool if I could do s similar things as well yeah. on top of join superheroes. Mm -hmm. So to me, the, the, the picture Bible was very, really impactful because I um, knew about Jesus and uh, I already had a relationship with him and I grew up going to church, Sunday school, so I loved the picture Bible. Mm -hmm. And little did I know that in the future I would be revamping that same book from yeah. the same publisher. That's incredible. It's, <laughs> you could write that as like a storyline in a book. Right. <laughs> so. You sort of hit on it, um, and I wanted to ask you, you, you've been involved in a lot of different projects. You, you've done a ton of work for the Action Bible line, but you've also done work for Marvel and, and DC Comics. When you're working on a project like, you know, the Action Storybook Bible, how does that compare to when you're working on something that we think of as more like a traditional comic? Like, what are some of the similar similarities, and then maybe what are some of the differences? Yeah, every every story uh, has uh, a lot of uh, impact uh, in depending on the story, with with actions, with uh, characters that we care for, and uh, a message behind it. Uh, so, with the main superhero uh, stories, uh, we enjoy you know good versus evil, uh, the the hero fighting the villains and winning, and 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 all that. Uh, it's a lot of thrilling to to read on the main uh, comic books that we love and grew up with, but all those stories are fictional stories. Yeah. With the the Action Bible, uh, I believe they are from the Holy Scriptures, which is fact of characters who really walked on this earth. So we are drawing and and working on something that has eternal value, as opposed to entertaining value alone. It has some eternal value that can be applied to your to your lives. Uh, so to me, the importance was doing something that is much more meaningful to my life as a believer and, yeah. and a God who created me and gave me the uh, my personal Savior Jesus Christ to uh, draw His stories uh, so that they are impactful as the picture Bible was to me when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah, well, thank you for sharing. Yes. Uh, we actually asked uh, some people to submit questions to you. Are you, are you open to answering some sure. questions? Yeah. A little freestyle? Yeah. <laughs> so it's not too late. If you're watching, uh, if you're watching this live, uh, feel free to comment in questions to Sergio. It's not every day that you get to ask questions to just uh, an amazingly talented artist. So feel free to send those in and we'll do our best to get to as many as we can. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with a few that we have. Okay. Um, and this will just be like, this will be lightning round. Ten points each question. <laughs> Bonus if you get them all. <laughs> so Sierra wants to know, how long did it take to illustrate the Action Bible? Three years. Three years? Yes. Oh, and I think, actually, don't we have a copy of that yeah. up here? So you can give them an idea of just the amount of <laughs> 750 pages 750 pages yeah and I could not have done this without the help of my wife Lucia Cariello and when you see all the blacks in here 
she spotted those blacks for me. I told, I put axes on them. Okay. And she helped me. And everybody who visited me during the time that I was working on, I put them to work. Wow. Either making copies or erasing pencils or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know, other families um, and then anyone who came that I was working on, I, uh, I was really busy doing this. I, I would think so. <laughs> That's incredible. So three years. Three years. So Sierra, the answer is three years, ten points. Ten points for me. <laughs> ten points for you. So, Christina wants to know, what are your favorite characters to draw and why? In the action Bible? I, or well, in general? It's sort of open-ended. Open-ended, huh? Um, in the mainstream comics, uh, Batman was my favorite, uh, and I drew them many, many times for DC Comics. Um, and in Marvel Comics, Spider-Man and Daredevil uh, was among my favorites. But in the actual Bible, Jesus was my favorite. Okay. It has been. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Um, so, next question. Ten more points. Ten more 20 points. points. I'm, You're winning. I'm winning. Uh, how did you first get started with drawing comics? Okay, I, uh, in a nutshell, was like this. I, 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 I saw a school, in, in, I found out about a school in Dover, New Jersey, called the Joe Cuba School of Cartoons and Graphic Arts, and I applied to go there, okay. uh, and I went there in uh, um, 86, and um, I was very good at lettering, and okay. that got me a job at Marvel Comics in the, the production department, mm -hmm. um, but because I knew how to draw, and I, I was, I was uh, going to school and also drawing for Caliber Press, uh, a comic book called Day Gone, the H.P. Lovecraft. Uh, the editors gave me work, freelance work, to work uh, on Spider-Man, Daredevil, uh, in the Marvel comics. And I got so busy, I had to quit my production department and became a freelancer. And one job led to another. And then went back to teach at the Cuba School, uh, keeping my freelance uh, status of working for the uh, comic book companies. Okay. And that's when DBC Cook see my work. They wanted to revamp the old picture yeah. Bible, so they hired me to do the action Bible. Okay. And they had no idea that you had experience as a kid reading that, right? They, they had no idea. Yeah, no, yeah. no, they didn't. No. That's, that's pretty cool. Yes. So it looks like we've got one that came in on okay. the screen over there. It's a wild card round. All right. Uh, this one's from Stephanie. It says, do you think girls will like this Bible too? Um, now, maybe talk about... Yes, the, they will. Yeah. Okay. Yes, they will. Um, I, I've been, because of the action Bible, I've been to uh, Australia, India, uh, Brazil, Canada, Turkey, and boys and girls really enjoyed uh, reading the, uh, the action Bible, and I'm sure they will enjoy the uh, storybook Bible as well, because they can relate to Jesus, they yeah, can relate sure. to the people that got the message, uh, so I'm sure girls will enjoy, just as boys do. Okay, great. Yes. Thank you. Um, so, let's see, um, Nathan says, how different was it to draw for the storybook Bible as compared to the action Bible? So, drawing for the storybook Bible versus the action Bible. Yeah, this one took much longer. This one was easier because less detail, less panels, less illustrations, and less uh, problems to solve within it. A page. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Well, and then when I'm looking at these covers, I'm definitely not an artist. <laughs> okay. Um, but it, it almost feels like there's a different tone when right. I look at this as a, opposed to that. Yes, yes. Yeah, this has a, a lighter uh, feel to it mm -hmm. for younger uh, kids, uh, but impactful just the same. Sure, yes. sure. Very good. Uh, let's see. I think we had one more before I mixed up all of our questions here. Oh, okay. So, oh, look at that. We got one from Christina. So we got questions coming in. Three sixty questions, all sides of the room. Uh, Christina says, "What was the hardest character or story to draw?" Um, I think whenever I had to draw uh, thousands of people in an army, that was the hardest thing. Yeah. You know, Samson uh, with the Philistines, and uh, whenever I had to, to draw. Uh, a, a lot of armies uh, fighting each other. That was that was hardest, took longest, yeah. and more reference and 
and a lot more work to put into it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Okay, so last question. Yes. You're doing great. Thank you. You're doing great. Anyone else would have buckled under the pressure of all these <laughs> questions, myself included. So, Jamie says, any suggestions for aspiring artists out there? It's like this, you know, um, I just recently saw Stan Lee um, being interviewed by uh, Joe Quesada, and, um, and Stan Lee shared that um, he was ready to give up as a writer when his wife told, told him, don't give up, just do what's in your heart, get it out of, of your system, and if the editor doesn't like it, he'll fire you, but if he likes it, you know, you, 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 you've done your job. And he wrote the Fantastic Four, and the rest is history. Yeah. So I would say, uh, if it is within you to do something, if it is in your heart, uh, most likely, in my personal belief, you know, God put that desire and that burning um, desire in your heart to begin with. So I, I say, go with your love and your passion, mm -hmm. and put your 100% into your passion. If you like drawing, you know, keep drawing every day. Get a sketchbook out, you know, and draw from life. And keep going, doing what you what you like to do, and and, and chances are, if you keep doing that, you, you you won't miss the opportunities that will come your way, because you'll be ready for them. That's a great answer. So, you have to forgive me. Yes. There's one more question. Okay. Um, Did I get ten more points? You know, <laughs> you're beyond points. <laughs> This is like this, so. This is like the extra prize round. Okay, um, but there are no prizes. <laughs> but <laughs> so, Michelle wants to know: How do you think the illustrations? Uh, how do you think the illustrations draw kids into the truth of the Bible? Oh, that's a great question. So, what is it about illustrations that really draws draws a child into engaging with the Bible? It, it's like this. You know, Jesus said that you must be like a child to enter the kingdom of God. There is a connection of Jesus and the kids. Uh, when he was um, walking on earth and the disciples tried to stop the kids from approaching Jesus because they thought he was too busy, Jesus said, don't, don't stop them. Let them come. There is a connection between Jesus and kids because of that pure heart and that pure desire to know truth. And we know, you and I know, Jesus is the truth, the way, and the life. Mm -hmm. And the kids know that when they see it. They recognize it. It's just like a link happens. You know, when you connect Wi-Fi with Wi-Fi, yeah. and one device recognizes the other device, and the password is there, yeah. that's what happens between Jesus and kids. Yeah. Wow. Well, Sergio, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to share with us. My pleasure. Uh, for putting up with, with me. And uh, for doing such a great job answering questions. But you did also, a great job, too. Thank you. Thank you for using your gifts and your abilities in a way that's, that's reaching so many people um, in, in such positive ways. Um, for all of you watching, thank you for joining us. Um, thank you, guys. And make sure to check out the Action Storybook Bible. We're going to put a link uh, with this video. You can pre-order it now. And, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be a really amazing thing. So make sure to check it out. And... Thanks, everybody, and we'll see you next time.